Welcome to USA Breaking News Today. Please subscribe and click notification box to get all breaking news alert. Breaking news today. World War III fears. Did Trump personally talk to Kim Jong-un? President reveals secret plan. Donald Trump revealed top secret talks between the US and North Korea have taken place but did the president communicate personally with Kim Jong-un? In a desperate attempt to avoid World War III, U.S. state officials claimed the CIA director Mike Pompeo made a secret visit to North Korea over the Easter weekend and met with Kim Jong-un. Donald Trump said, We have started talking to North Korea directly. We have had direct talks at extremely high levels. I really believe there's a lot of goodwill, a lot of good things are happening. We will see what happens because ultimately it is the end result that matters. Speaking at his Mar a Lago resort in Florida with Japan's Prime Minister, Shinzo Abe, the president revealed a meeting between himself and Kim Jong un will take place probably in early June or a little before that. He explained, Japan and ourselves are locked, and we are very unified on the subject of North Korea. We will probably be depending on various meetings and conversations, we'll be having meetings with Kim Jong un very soon. It will be taking place probably in early June or a little before that assuming things go well. Contacts between the two sides in recent weeks have involved U.S. intelligence and State Department officials, a U.S. official revealed earlier this month. Trump, who has exchanged bellicose threats with Kim in the past year, said U.S. officials were looking at five locations for a meeting with Kim. Asked if any of those were in the U.S., Trump replied, no. We have sites where it is potentially going to be. As I always say, we'll see what happens, because ultimately it's the end result that matters, not the fact that we're thinking about having a meeting or having a meeting. There is a great chance to solve a world problem. Donald Trump confirmed the reports and tweeted, Mike Pompeo met with Kim Jong-un in North Korea last week. Meeting went very smoothly and a good relationship was formed. Details of summit are being worked out now. Denuclearization will be a great thing for world, but also for North Korea. A U.S. official said sites in Southeast Asia and Europe were among those under discussion. Kim has rarely left North Korea. Speculation has centered on a range of sites including Pyongyang, the demilitarized zone between the Koreas, Stockholm, Geneva, and Mongolia. Talks between Trump and Abe are largely focused on the prospective summit with Kim as Japan seeks a U.S. commitment that any denuclearization deal the president seals with Kim will include not just long range missiles but those that could be aimed at Japan. Abe told Trump, For the North Korean issue, I'd like to underscore the importance of achieving the complete, verifiable, and irreversible denuclearization as well as the abandonment of missile programs of North Korea. Abe also obtained an agreement from Trump to bring up the issue of Japanese nationals abducted by North Korea, a highly emotive issue for the Japanese. Trump also backed efforts between South Korea and the North aimed at ending a state of war that has existed between the two countries since 1953. He said, they do have my blessing to discuss the end of the war. People don't realize the Korean War has not ended. It's going on right now. And they are discussing an end to the war. Subject to a deal, they have my blessing and they do have my blessing to discuss that. Thanks for watch please share like comment this video and subscribe channel for latest news.